lots of information about 401ks that investors don't necessarily pay attention to. Pamela Yellen, financial security expert, is here to talk about the red flags that we all need to watch out for. Welcome, Pamela. Thanks for having me. So you say that investments are being made in our 401ks without our approval and being made by people with little or no experience. What do you mean by that? That's correct. Companies are automatically enrolling more workers into their 401k. They are automatically increasing their annual contribution and they have taken it upon themselves to fix what they perceive as our investment mistakes mm -hmm. by automatically moving our money into more aggressive investments. Now the investment of choice right now is the so-called target date fund, which is jargon for funds that are supposed to invest more conservatively every year so that when you're ready to retire you can be confident the money will be there. Okay, now who exactly is doing this? Is it the company that you're working for or is it the mutual fund company that your plan is with? The companies are actually doing this and they are doing it because it was encouraged by the 2006 Pension Protection Act. Mm -hmm. You have to wonder who they were trying to protect. Okay, you also say that there's a hidden tax time bomb in your 401k. What's that? Correct. Will Rogers said that the problem in America isn't what people don't know, mm -hmm. it's what they think they know that just ain't so. But one of the chief appeals of 401ks is that it defers your taxes. Well, what direction do you think taxes are going over the long term? Up, of oh, course. Okay, so if you're successful in growing a nest egg, you're only going to end up paying higher taxes on a bigger number. Okay, so you don't like the idea of 401ks at all then? I'm not, at the end of the day, I'm not a fan of the 401k and I think you should pay your taxes now while well, you know what they are. Okay, so then if you don't like 401ks, what other strategies do you have out there that you yourself are using? Well, I've researched over 450 financial strategies. My favorite is dividend paying whole life, but not the kind that most people talk about. And I prove that by putting copies of my own policy statements at bankonyourself.com where you can see how different these are. These have have guaranteed growth, the growth is exponential, which means that instead of looking like a roller coaster, it goes like this, mm -hmm. which means that the growth is steep at, steepest at the time that you need it most, and that's retirement, and no luck skill or guesswork is needed to make that happen. Okay, you're, you're talking about dividend paying whole life insurance policies, right? Mm -hmm. So who holds these accounts, and who is uh, managing the money in this account, in these accounts? Very conservative life insurance companies that have been around for well over over 100 years, they have grown every single year for over 100 years in every economic boom and bust during the Great Depression, every single time. Your principal and gains are locked in. Was AIG involved in these kinds of investments? That's a myth. AIG, it, that was a holding company that they developed because mm -hmm. life insurance companies themselves are not allowed legally to invest in those types of things mm -hmm. and their life insurance subsidiaries were not affected by it at all. They were isolated from it. Okay, so what specific kinds of investments is your money being put into with these uh, whole life insurance Good, policies? Great question. It's being put into mostly long-term corporate and government bonds. The difference being that these companies are required legally to have quite a bit of cash reserves to be able to pay for future claims. And they are able to hold on to these investments until maturity if necessary. So they're not at the mercy of the ups and downs of you know, one and two and five year problems. But would you agree with me when I say I, we're all going to be in trouble if and when the United States becomes the next Greece in 50 years? And then what are you going to do when your life savings is invested in U.S. government bonds? It's, if that happens, where else are you going to go? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, there is no silver bullet. There's no guarantee where you can put your money in, and it's actually going to be there for you 100%, unless it's maybe in a savings account. Uh, but what about the idea of a Roth IRA? If you don't like the idea of paying taxes later, you can pay them now, put it in a Roth IRA, tax-free when you uh, retire. I personally do not like government control plans. They can change the rules anytime they want, and they do. I think that you should bank on yourself mm -hmm. and eliminate banks, finance companies, the government, and your employer from the control that they have over your financial life. Okay, thanks for your ideas. We appreciate it. You can find more of Pamela Yellen's ideas on her website, bankonyourself.com. That's also the title of her new book.